Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're continuing on today with our Build a Battle Station app part two. This part will be building out the object model or the data model. So we're gonna to wanna to jump into our trailhead org that we've been working on this project in. And we're gonna to go to the setup. You click the gear icon up here, setup. From setup, we're going to want to go to the object manager and select battle station. We're going to create some new fields for our battle station app. And the first one we're going to create is a pick list. So I just click new, scroll down to find pick list, and then click next. Field label will be project status. And we're going to enter the new values with each value separated by a new line. So these are green, yellow, red, and complete. We're going to leave this first one unchecked, but we are going to check use the first value as the default value. And we're going to uncheck to restrict the values. And let's click next. Next again. And save and new, we're gonna create a new field. So we are again going to create a pick list field. So we'll click pick list and next. And the field label is going to be weapons status. Make sure that you do spell it correctly in case, because Salesforce, the will in trailhead, you might get an error if it's not spelled correctly. So for our values, we're going to enter them on a different line. First one being is not yet operational and fully operational. We're going to leave the first one unchecked. We're going to use the first value as a default value and uncheck the restrict the values. We're gonna leave everything as is, click next. And then next for visibility and save. All right, now that that part's done, next part is to create another new object. We'll work to connect the Battle Station app with our next new object uh, later, but first we need to create it. So let's go ahead and click custom object. And for the label, it will be resource. Plural is resources. Make sure I spelled that right. We're going to allow reports and then click save. Again, we're going to go create a custom tab. So let's go to home, type in tabs, click on it, and new. This is for the resource object. And then pick any tab style that you want. I will go to just a chess piece. Uh, click next. And scroll down, click next. One more time, we're gonna click save. Awesome, so let's go back to our resources object.
We're going to add a new field. And this will be a quantity field. So click new. And this is going to be a number field. Let's scroll. Let's look for number. Right there. OK. And click Next. Field label is going to be quantity. And then we're going to leave the default for the rest of this. Click Next. Next for visibility. And save and new, because we're going to create another field. This next one is going to be a percent field. Click Next. We're going to call it Utilization. Um, and we're going to always require this. And then we're going to click Say Next. Next. Save and New. We're going to connect this back to our Battle Station app, our Battle Station object. So we're going to have a master detail relationship to the Battle Station object. And click Next. Field label is going to be Battle Station. We're going to leave default. Click Next, Next and save. One thing I forgot to add on our quantity field was that it needed to be required. So let's go ahead and edit that quantity object. So we always require that a value is in that field. Awesome. We're going to create one more custom object before we finish this. So let's not go to the schema builder. Let's create custom object. And this will be called a supply. For a supply, we are going to, again, allow reports. Scroll down and click Save. going to go through, create a new tab. For supply, and choose any one that you want. I'm going to create a box one. And I click Next. Next. And Save. All right, so let's go back to our supplies object and create fields. Going to go fields relationships, then click new. We're going to have a number object or number field, excuse me, click next. This one's going to be called quantity. And always require a field or a value. And click, let's see, actually, we have some. We're going to have a default value for this of two. And then next. Next, and save and new. And again, we're going to have a unit cost field. So this is going to be a currency field. Click next. This is going to be called unit 
cost. We want the length to be 16, so then we can have a decimal place of two. Click required. Then next, next, save and new. This is a lot to go through. We are almost done. The next is a formula field. This is going to be the total cost field. So click formula. We are going to call this the total cost field name will populate. And this will be parentheses. And decimal places we want to have be two. Click next. All right, so I'm going to go back to our trailhead here, and we're going to copy and paste this formula. It's just the total cost plus the quantity, or the unit cost plus the quantity. If I can click on it. If not, we can go back and do a quantity insert operator add plus unit cost. Check the syntax to make sure everything is good to go. It looks like we have no errors. We'll click next. Next. And save and new. All right, one more. We're going to connect this back to our battle station object. So we're going to go master detail again. Just like our resource object, relate it back to the battle station object. Click next. Field name should, they should both be battle station, but the second one, we want an underscore instead of a space there. Then we're gonna leave the default values for everything else. Click next, a lot of clicking next. And save, and I believe now we are Going to verify our step. Let's make sure that we did everything. This will take a while and it's okay if you get an error, you can troubleshoot it. And if we get an error, we will troubleshoot it. Okay, so it looks like we missed a few fields. We missed project status and weapon status on these battle station custom objects. So let's go back up here. And see what's wrong. And it could just be that we missed some fields. Or some of them were labeled correctly. And that's usually what happens. Okay, so it's project status underscore underscore C. Make sure that we have the correct default values. Make sure it's spelled correctly. And this one looks like it's done correctly. And usually if it's something else, then it's not. But if we couldn't find it, it's probably like a good name or something. And then weapon status. Oh, it looks like this one is not spelled correctly. So it needs to be weapons status. And yes, I know that it will. Can possibly change integration. So click save. And let's go ahead and try and verify that again.
All right, looks like we passed. Thank you for joining me for part two of building a battle station app. It, we did get a little bit of errors, but we were able to work through them. So thank you for joining. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out my channel. And be sure to join me for part three.